Have you ever wondered how much this uh, Ukraine's war is costing to the EU? We talk a lot about uh, 70 billion dollars, the debt figures, and uh, people think it's, it's a lot. But if only people knew about what is the exact cost of this, uh, this uh, aggression, because it's an aggression on the first place, who actually was behind the coup, who supported the coup on the first place, because people tend to forget that this war started in 2014 and it was instigated by the collective West and Europe. So there is a military aid. It's uh, the estimate is $70 billion. Let me tell you the cost overall cost is way, way bigger. There's a reconstruction cost, which probably Europe will pay. It's going to be at least $1 trillion. It's $1,000 billion. Then uh, if Ukraine is accepted into the EU, there's going to be, uh, Ukraine is going to be a net recipient of EU funds. At the moment, for example, uh, Poland is getting around 20 billion euro from Europe every year. Ukraine will probably get uh, about the same amount. So 20 billion euro, uh, let's say for 20 years, it's probably 400 billion euro. That is going to be the cost for Europe. Then there's going to be uh, an increase in energy costs. We used to have cheap gas from Russia. Now we are going to buy expensive LNG gas from US. That cost is going to be massive. And it is for a long period of time. So let's say for a period of 20 years, we are talking about trillions of dollars. There's going also to be uh, an increase in military spending. At the moment, many countries in Europe are under the 2% threshold of what is required by NATO in terms of military spending. So there will be probably an increase for all Europe to reach the 2% requirement from NATO. So imagine 20 years, how much military spending, extra military spending we are going to have in Europe. We are talking about hundreds of billion dollars. There's going to be a cost of deindustrialization because energy costs are going to be so expensive. There are going to, we are going to have some industries, especially energy intensive industries like steel, like chemical industries those industries are going to leave Europe. This is going to be a process of, of deindustrialization that is going to cost Europe trillions of dollars. Then there's a cost of loss of the euro and the dollar in terms of hegemonic currencies. We are going to lose the status of global currency. That is going to cost us a lot, probably in the trillions of dollars. Then there is an overall geopolitical cost for Europe. There's going, we see now there's a shift. There's a shift of gravity when it comes to economy. Everything mo is moving towards east and towards the global south. This loss of hegemony is going to cost trillions of dollars. And I'm not even talking about a cost in human lives because we've used Ukrainian lives for a globalist agenda. Now imagine if we have in the range of 20 trillion dollars for a period of 20 years, and that is very conservative estimate. This is going to cost around $40,000 per EU citizen. Now my question is, if EU citizens knew about the real cost over a period of 20 years, they will be in the streets very angry with those leaders that actually are not working for their people. They are working for the military industrial complex and they are working for the globalist elites. Those globalist elites do not care about people. They do not care about human lives and they want, they are uh, leading us towards mutual destruction. So it is important just to note that what you hear in Western media in terms of cost, the real cost is way bigger and the pain hasn't even started.